story time friends. My name is Shannon and I am one of the librarians of the Sam Gary Branch Library. I'm so glad that you're joining me today for our all ages story time and I am coming to you from the middle of the Sam Gary Branch Idea Lab where we've got all kinds of fun stuff and crafts and activities for you to do. If you'd like to come check it out this summer we would love to have you. Awesome, so we are going to start our story time with one of my favorite welcome songs. It is called, Hi, Hello, and How Are You? Will you say that with me? Hi, hello, and how are you? Great, let's go ahead and get ready to sing that together. Get your waving hands ready. Great. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Great job, friends. Now it is a really good time to reflect a little bit on that question, how are you? How are you doing today? I hope you are doing very well. I know I am very happy to join you today. So that makes me happy if you're happy. And then if you have any other feelings, it's okay to feel those too. All right, so we are going to get started with our letter of the day. And I thought a little bit about our letter of the day today, and I wanted it to fit with all of the activities that we're going to be doing. So our first clue of what our letter of the day is, is this bean bag. What color is this bean bag? Good job, it is blue. It is a blue bean bag. Does that give you any clues of what our letter of the day could be? It's B. Great job. A blue bean bag. Both those words start with the letter B. Great job. I've also got a little friend here that starts with the letter B. Do you know who this is? A bear! Great job! This is actually a black bear, so also starts with the letter B. What sound does a black bear make? Roar! Good job! Can you roar nice and loud at home or wherever you are joining me from? Roar! Good job! Okay, Ooh, the next one I have is something you might have had for breakfast today. A banana. Banana. Good job. Can you say that with me? Banana. Delicious. Okay, and last but not least, I have, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a bird. I mean, it just happens to be, do you know what kind of bird? An eagle, good job, but it is a bird and it flies around and bird also starts with what letter? B, great job. All right, that is our friend the bird. We might see our friend the bird again a little bit later. Great job today with that friends. Okay, we're gonna get ready to move our hands a little bit. We're going to do our favorite open shut them. Are you ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. But do not let them in. Good job. Good job. We need to get some of those wiggles out sometimes. And that gets us ready for our story of the day. This is called Bird Show. We just talked about a bird, didn't we? Do you know what kind of bird that we have here on our cover? I bet you do. It looks like a peacock to me. And this is written and illustrated by Susan Stockdale. Birds are one of my most favorite things, so I was so excited to share this book with you. Ooh, do you see that? What part of the bird is that? Do you know? 
the wing. Great job. All right, there's our peacock friend again. I soar through the sky and like birds everywhere, I'm decked out in feathers and wear them with flair. My goodness, beautiful wings. I boast an outfit of every hue. Do you see some different colors there that that bird has? My coat has one color. What color is that? Red, great job. My jacket has two, two colors. What two colors do you see on this bird? Blue and black, some of our B words, great job. I flaunt a full skirt of milky white lace. It's amazing what all the different kinds of birds there are. My apron is yellow. Is that really an apron that that bird is wearing? No, right? That's just how that bird comes. My dress has a face. Do you see that that bird kind of looks like it's wearing a dress? I sport a vest that is dappled with dots. My suit has white speckles. Can you see those? And my headdress has spots. I flash a tail coat with curly Q flips. Can you see those? Beautiful. My train has two paddles. My fan has sharp tips. I don an elegant free flowing gown. Look at that bird, my goodness. What a gown. My scarf stripes are curvy. See those curves? My plumes form a crown. That was the bird from the cover. Oh my goodness. I get to turn the book, my favorite. All of us dress in our own special way. Hmm. And put on a fashion show every day. See those? They're all flying together. Birds are the only living animals that have feathers. Did you know that? Most females have dull colored feathers and fewer markings, so predators won't spot them while they care for their chicks. Most males feature brighter feathers to attract a female mate, as females prefer partners with more vibrant colors. Plain or showy, birds provide a dazzling display. And this book has all kinds of information about the different birds that we saw in this book. So if you are interested in that, you should check this book out. Ask your grown-up to check out Bird Show. Great job, friends. I think the thing I like the most about that book is all the birds are very different and beautiful in their own way, just like people are. Yeah pretty cool. Then grown-ups at home, it's always a good idea, especially this time of year, to go on a nature walk with your little one. And as you walk around your block or your area, what do you see? And point out birds in the sky, bugs on the ground, clouds overhead. You can see clouds out my window right there. And wherever you live, walk around your neighborhood. It offers a great opportunity to talk to your little one about everything you find where you live some job. So we're going to do one of my favorite songs to move our fingers around a little bit more or your hands. You could, we're going to make birds. And uh, my, my birds, my bird friends are named Jack and Jill. 
do know this song. It's called Two Little Black Birds. And this is my friend Jack, and this is my friend Jill. And one day, we're gonna learn a little story about what they do. Two little black birds sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job. Good job with that. So what if we have birds that are sitting on a cloud? Again, like pretty cloud I have out my window. Um, and their names are quiet and loud. <gasps> Do you think we could make quiet be quiet and loud be loud? I think we can. I think we're ready. All right, what were they doing again? They were sitting on a cloud. Two little black birds sitting on a cloud. One named quiet and the other named loud. Fly away, quiet. Fly away, loud. Come back, quiet. Come back, loud. <laughs> Good job. Always fun to do that one. Very great job. Okay, actually, I have another friend here that is a kind of a bird. Do you know what kind of bird this is? Oh, a duck, a duck. Oh my goodness, great job. And this is mother duck. Mother duck, what do you think mother duck says? Quack, quack, quack. Good job, can you quack like that at home? Be the mother duck, okay. And mother, mother duck has three little ducks and these can be her ducks. You could pretend that these are ducks, right? Playing pretend with puppets at home is awesome. If you have a puppet at home, play along with me. And so this song goes, three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. But none of her little ducks came back. Oh no, she's so sad. Mother duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, nice and loud, quack, 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 quack. And all of her three little ducks came back. Yay! Oh, she's so happy. Good job, Mother duck. That must have been hard. She had to go looking for them, huh? <laughs> well, thank you for joining me today. We are going to sing our goodbye song now. And we often sing we wave goodbye like this, but what if today, based off of all of our bird friends, we wave our arms like a bird would wave their arms? What do you think? How would that look? Maybe something like this. Or there are some birds maybe that move their arms like this. Can you wave your arm like that? I think you can. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. <laughs> Good job, friends. Thank you again for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.